Hello everyone, in this experiment we will find the wavelength of sodium light using diffraction grating and we will find the wavelength of various colors using diffraction grating. Sodium light is yellow light so from one simulator we will cover two experiments. The formula we will use is delta S is equal to A sine theta where A is the distance between two slits which whose value is 2.54 divided by n. n is a number of divisions of slits on diffraction grating in millimeters whose values is 1500 if we divided by 2.54 divided by 1500 we will get our value of a which is equal to 1963 nanometer so for first order wavelength we will put n is equal to 1 and lambda we will get is equal to a sine theta for second order wavelength we will get lambda is equal to a sine theta divided by 2 so we are on simulator first we will click on this icon this is an image so we will focus the telescope so that this image will become clear when this image will clear a start button will appear to click on so we will start the button then first of all we have to switch on the light then this is slit focus and slit width how much width we need and how much focus we need then place grating this is vernier 1 and vernier 2 this is main scale reading vernier scale reading and the least count of this scale is one minute so we know how to take the reading main scale reading plus list count into number of Vernier scale reading coincide with main scale reading. So first we will calculate from left side then we will calculate readings from right side. For example we will calculate blue light reading for first left side. So we are calculating reading from left side. Here you see this is first order wavelength we find vernier we will calculate v1 and v2 then we will shift from with right side we will calculate the same v1 and v2 value of blue color then we will note the value of v1 and v2 then we will subtract the value of v1 from left side and right side for example our v1 value from left side is 19 degree from right side it is 190 degrees so then we will difference the both value it means v for v1 value 190 minus 19 degree then we will get 2 theta then we will divide it by 2 we will get theta so similar way we will calculate v2 for blue light from left side and v2 light from right side then we will subtract v2 from left side and right side we will get 2 theta divided by 2 we will get theta hence we will get two values of first order wavelength of blue light for vernier 1 and vernier 2 then we will take their mean and for the formula we will get our answer lambda is equal to a sine theta and theta we get from this vernier 1 and vernier 2 reading similarly we'll, we will calculate for another colors for example yellow light which we call sodium light it is for right side then we go for left side also This is a very simple experiment. We can easily do this experiment. Here we will calculate, we will repeat the same procedure we will do for blue light. This is slit focus. It focus the slit. You see this focus is being changing and slit with how big size or small size we want to choose. So these are the creating table which we can move from right side to left side you can see and vernier table we can move left to right side and telescope we can also move this is for fine angle and this is for correct value
similarly we will calculate value for second order if we go right left side the light will become dim then we will able to find this is second order here it is first order lights and if we go more right it will, the light will become dim and the space will increase and these are the lights for second order similarly we will calculate the same we will repeat the same procedure to calculate the theta value and if we go right side we will get the similar lights for the second order wavelength these are for first order wavelength these values and these are the, for the second order wavelength because the light will become dim and the space will increase